Like many of us, the Porter family is concerned about their health and the health of the Fairfax community, which is why they were surprised to learn that Stephanie, a healthy 24-year-old family friend, was hospitalized recently with influenza-related complications. I did not know that the flu could turn into pneumonia like that, and to be honest, I thought that pneumonia was something that older people got. Um, I, I knew I could get the flu. I never thought that I would, though. Stephanie is telling her friends about her experience. She now knows that anyone can get the flu. And like her, some adults who don't know they are at risk experience flu-related complications each season. On average, 5 to 20 percent of the U.S. population get the flu each year. While most people recover, more than 200,000 people are hospitalized, and as many as 40,000 people die as a result of flu-related complications. And in addition to that, it costs society. Between the medical costs and the lost productivity of our community members, we can suffer some real financial issues. The best way to protect against influenza is to get a flu vaccine every flu season. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention now recommends that everyone over the age of six months get the flu vaccine each year to expand protection from the flu to the entire community. Why? Because influenza is extremely contagious, people are very susceptible, and it spreads very easily. If we vaccinate as many people as possible, that will limit the opportunity for that virus to be spread. During flu season, transmission is widespread throughout the community, at work, at school, at the grocery store, anywhere you come into contact with people. Many people spread the flu to others without knowing it because a person can be contagious as early as one or two days before the cough and other symptoms start. When enough people in a community are vaccinated, it protects everyone in the community, including the vulnerable who may not be able to get the vaccine Throughout our daily routines, we come into contact with vulnerable people, but you can't always tell by looking at them. People with underlying medical conditions, such as asthma, heart disease, kidney disorders, and weakened immune systems are vulnerable to serious flu-related complications. Children less than six months of age and people who are allergic to eggs are also vulnerable because they cannot receive the flu vaccine. They, and many others in our community, benefit from the protection that others around them acquire as a result of being vaccinated. This is called community immunity, and here's how it works. Just one or two people who are sick with the flu because they are not immunized, the people seen here in red, can start an influenza outbreak in our community. Even if a few people are immunized, those represented here in yellow, our community is still at risk for an outbreak because not enough people are immunized to contain the spread of the flu. However, if the vast majority of our population is immunized, even the vulnerable people among us are protected because the virus is contained and there is little opportunity for an outbreak. For community immunity to work, each of us who can receive the flu vaccine must get vaccinated every year because the flu virus changes from year to year. There are a lot of myths about flu vaccine being harmful. And in fact, it is a very safe vaccine. The episodes of problems from vaccine are extremely rare and people respond quite well. Some people do feel that they may get influenza or some flu-like illness from the vaccine. Typically, that is not true. It more often occurs when there's a coincidental infection. They've been exposed, they get sick with something else in the vicinity of the time that they get the vaccine, but they blame it on the vaccine. That's how those rumors get started. The fact is, seasonal flu vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective for the hundreds of millions of Americans who receive it. And the vaccine cannot cause the flu. Motivated by their friend's recent experience with the flu, the porters are learning more about the importance of getting vaccinated each year to protect themselves and their community. When families ask if they should get a flu vaccine, I absolutely encourage them. I feel it is one of the most important things they can do on an annual basis to protect themselves against a very severe disease. Influenza can be a serious disease. Health experts recommend getting vaccinated as soon as vaccine becomes available in the fall so that you and others who are vulnerable are protected early and throughout the season. Together, 
we can achieve community immunity. Even if people feel that they are healthy and don't need the vaccine, um, I'd urge them to get vaccinated every year, um, to do it for themselves, to do it for their families, and to do it for our community, because it's the right thing to do. Get a flu vaccine this year, every year. Learn more about community immunity at fairfaxcounty.gov slash flu.